Keith, from the day you arrived in New York in 1983, you changed everything. Your leadership, your clutch hitting, your incredible fielding, your knowledge of the game. You were the guy that nobody could take their eyes off. And now you've become the beloved uncle to every Met fan on earth through your broadcasting. And this honor is so well-deserved and I just can't wait to see your number alongside Seaver and Kuzman and Piazza and Hodges and Jackie Robinson up there in the rafters. Congratulations, Keith. You are the greatest. You were the greatest. You will always be the greatest. Well, congratulations, Keith. Uh, when I found out about this today, I was just so excited. Um, you know, it seems like your number should have been retired many moons ago, but uh, I'm just so happy for you. Um, you know, when I think of New York sports, I think of Mark Messier, and Dave DeBuscher, guys that came over from other organizations and just legitimized and brought a winning spirit. And that's certainly uh, what you did. But as my friend, uh, I am so happy for you. And I will say this, um, I've played with Ricky Henderson, Conseco, Strawberry, Gooden, McGuire. I could go on and on with some of the greatest players that I've played with, and you will always uh, be the best. Um, you taught me how to play the game. It was fun to watch you do your thing, and I'm just going to be so happy and proud uh, when they retire uh, your number. Keith, congratulations, brother. It's so happy for you. So well deserved. So long overdue. Everything you've meant to this franchise, both on and off the field. Obviously a, an incredible player, one of a kind broadcaster. But for me, the thing that stands out is the type of teammate you were and the type of teammate you are. You hear the way that the guys from the 86 team speak about you, the reverence with which they speak about you. Well, that's how Gary, Ron, and I feel about you as well. Congratulations once again, and we can't wait to celebrate.